Time now for our weekly anti-post preview. Ben Hutton joins me on the line to look ahead to Saturday's big race, the Rose of Lancaster Stakes up at Haydock. And Ben, forecast favourite at the moment is uh, Jetaway. Desperately unlucky last time out at York when behind Sri Putra. No, he didn't get much of a run last time. Um, still ended up being beaten six and three quarter lengths. But to be to be fair, like you say, he did get hampered. My worry is with him that he, he, he wins these conditions races. He, he has won a listed race. Just whether he's got the quality to go and, and land this Group 3 is another question. And at 100 to 30, I'm, I'm more than happy to look elsewhere. That, that's the price he currently is with um, sponsors Victor Chandler. Now they're deep inside the final furlong. New Hampshire and Jetaway racing wide apart with 100 yards left to go. Jetaway is running on strongly on the far side and Jetaway's got there. Jetaway beats New Hampshire. Well, so Henry Cecil was in great form at Goodwood. Another man in great form was Mark Johnston. And his horse, Landerman, won twice in Sussex. Can he strike again on Saturday? He certainly looks like he's up to winning group races based on his, his latest four wins, two most recently at Glorious Goodwood. And in terms of, we've, we've mentioned Jetaway, Jetaway is extremely exposed, often comes up short when, when up in grade. Landerman's just the sort of horse I'd be looking to take him on with. Two handicap wins at Glorious Goodwood came off 90 and 96. You'd have thought he'd been able to make the grade to a group performer. And if, if Mark Johnson turns him out again quickly in this, he'd be very much respected. We got to talk about the classic generation as well because five of the last ten runnings have gone to three-year-olds. Uh, of the three in the lineup at this stage, Gabriel third in the Sussex Stakes in their King's Desire for Marco Botti. And Mr Music's gone close in two big handicaps so far this year. What do you make of them? Yeah, well, again, all those three are respected. Um, Gabriel was third behind Frankel last time over a mile, and he, he shaked on a few occasions as if he might be suited by this step up to one mile two, so certainly wouldn't put anyone off him. Mr. Music has tried one mile two. He possibly didn't stay earlier in the season, might have strengthened up, shaping over a mile as if he might be suited by the return to it, and he was unlucky over that trip at Goodwood last time. So at 25 to one, he's, he's an appealing price, and King's Desire again looks to be on the up. Cutting the ground possibly hasn't suited, definitely didn't suit two start to go, possibly didn't suit last time, returned to a sounder surface. So they're all decent prices and um, come the day, all three of them might not be running, so, so one of them might appeal. And so overall, what's the selection? I think I'll be edging towards Midjar. Um, based on all, what I've been saying and about horses having limitations, it might seem like a strange pick, but he's, he's always contesting these strong handicaps over one mile, two and a mile. And he strikes me as the sort of horse that might not be suited by a big field handicap. And he might be better suited by a smaller field group race. He's been rated 102 and been competitive off that mark. And I think he might turn out to be better in, in a race such as this. And 14 to 1, bearing in mind he has quite a bit of talent, I think he could outrun those odds.